What is the best socially unacceptable piece of advice? I know she looks like a younger version of your mother's hot sister, but don't frick your cousin. Dad. That was more for himself than it was for you. Flattery works on everyone. The trick is to figure out what flavor of flattery suits each person. Sometimes it's simply agreeing with someone's opinions. Sometimes it's being flirtatious. Sometimes it's making a show of being subordinate. Sometimes it's directly including someone in jokes. Sometimes it's asking questions or for advice. Sometimes it's just noticing someone. Flattery works on everyone. It's best not to admit that openly, but if you're doing it right, people can know your plan and still not be able to stop you, because they won't want to. <laughs> My favorite. Follow the small rules and you can break the big ones. 1984. Never break more than one law at a time. Never carry more drugs on you than you can safely swallow at any given time. Looks determine who comes together. Character determines who stays together. So if you're aiming for the short run, you better shape up. Be a bad liar when it doesn't matter so that when you really need to lie people will believe you. Also, incorporate elements of the truth into your real lies so that they will be harder to dispute. Make yourself happy before you try to help others with their unhappiness. It may seem selfish but if you sacrifice so much of yourself for others you'll run yourself dry and help no one. You're supposed to put your oxygen mask on before you help others. Often the best way to get a job isn't through working hard, getting a good education, and being tireless. It's having a friend who already works at the company. Sometimes it's best to entirely cut yourself off from toxic people. Sure you can forgive them, but you gotta watch out for yourself. But it's your mother father best friend since grade school. Scrape them off. Source. Someone who did it. Much happier. Always fact check your professors. Half truths get passed on by teachers more than anything else. Also there is no such thing as non-biased journalism. As a teacher, I've got to tell you. You fine folks here at Reddit have made me start fact checking myself. The elementary teachers get really peed at me when I take things that they have taught my students that seem suspect and research them, only to prove the elementary teacher wrong. Case in point, deoxygenated blood is blue. Nope, it's not. Practice and get good at Irish exits. A guy I used to live above, he was homeless for years as a teenager, he used to score pot off of me, told me once that no matter how bad things get, you have two choices, kill yourself or continue living. Every bad situation boiled down to that decision, in his opinion. People often ask me how I look so young for my age, they usually guess about 10 years under. The thing I don't usually tell them is, it's cuz don't have kids. People don't like that answer. Can confirm, that, and don't smoke. If you get moon faced and bloaty, cut down on the drinking. If your kid is being picked on, don't tell them to ignore the bully. Tell them to sweep the freaking leg then drop the elbow. It's the only proven bully repellent. Save some of those pain meds for after you get better my dad. They work even better for emotional pain than physical pain. Also, if you stick them up your butt you'll get double the bio availability. Seriously though don't mess around with opiates. They are the most wonderful thing that can ruin your life in an instant. Family should not get a free pass because they're family. Family isn't everything. I couldn't agree more. This person is you mother father sibling. You should love them. Number. If someone is a terrible person, I think said person is a terrible person. It doesn't matter who they are. Money might not buy happiness, but it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. It definitely buys more opportunities to seek happiness. Get rid of friends that bring constant negativity into your life. There are so many positive people out there that are much more deserving of your life. Along that same line, try your best to be a positive influence in others' lives. Your friendship will be cherished. He who hesitates, masturbates. When in doubt, whip it out Julius Caesar. There's no such thing as true love. You don't have a soulmate out there waiting for you and there's no happily ever after. Every single romantic film and book and fairy tale and song and TV show is lying to you. 
Building up a collective image that is a poor reflection of reality, it's the relationship equivalent of a Barbie doll, unrealistic and vapid. Instead of all that crap what you have is a lot of people whose personality is more or less compatible with yours. At some point in your life you're going to find yourself in lust with one of those people. You're going to want to spend all of your waking hours with them. You're going to miss them so much when they're not with you that it's going to hurt. And you're going to want to do the kinds of things to them and with them that you cannot under any circumstances tell grandma about. The real depraved stuff that would cause her to drag you straight down to church to ask Jesus for forgiveness. You're going to fall in lust a hundred times over the course of your life. Maybe more. And sooner or later you're going to fall in lust with someone who has fallen in lust with you. There will be many of those too. Maybe a handful. Maybe a few dozen. And out of those, eventually, if you're lucky, you'll find someone worth loving. Now pay attention kids, because here's what love is. It's not burning passion and flaming hearts and sappy hallmark moments. Love doesn't proclaim itself from the rooftops. Love is what comes after all of that. It's quieter than that, and more modest. Love is hard work, it's toiling, every day without end, because this person is worth the effort. Being in love doesn't mean not seeing your partner's flaws, it means knowing every single one of them, and deciding that you're going to put up with them for the sake of him or her. You don't fall in love, you dive in, and you swim for all you're worth. Sometimes you fall out of love, sometimes you can't give it the effort it deserves, or sometimes it just becomes no longer worth it. That's okay. Most of us are going to be on one end or the other of this at some point in our lives. But there's good news, though, because you chose to fall in love. And that means, once you get over the heartbreak, you can choose to do it again. I think there are a lot of people who will disagree with my definition of love. Everyone wants the fairy tale, but the fairy tale is bulls. I like my way better. No one's born special. The world owes you nothing. Most people don't achieve their dreams. Do the best you can. Honesty is not always the best policy. Sometimes it's better for all involved if you lie a little. Turn the honesty setting down to 90%. You never owe anyone anything. Do it because you want to. Because your honor is important to you. Because you want to be a decent guy. But you are never obligated to be miserable on someone else's behalf. Look out for your mental health first. Your sense of security, self-esteem and stability are important. Don't get involved with people that make you feel bad or put your life into chaos. Frick that my roommate owes me $300. It's okay to be angry at people who've wronged you. It's okay to want revenge. It's okay to feel all sorts of negative emotions that you're told you're not supposed to. Sometimes acting on those is bad for you. And sometimes hanging on to something unreasonably long doesn't make sense. But you're not freaking obliged to forgive people or to feel bad for being angry or upset. The HR staff is not there to help you. They are there to help the company. If some whom you love, and who loves you, says tell me the truth, tell the truth. If anybody else says it, it's probably in your best interest to lie. The court appointed therapist is not your friend. When working around machines, never put your hands where you wouldn't put your dong. Think with your head. The other head, I was told this at a funeral by an elderly man with Alzheimer's. Squat when you crap. But if you crap when you squat, you're going to get some weird looks at the gym. You will be exponentially happier and achieve more in life if you are ruthless about removing any and all toxic, crappy, negative and or unnecessarily critical people from your life and inner circle, even if they are close family. Most people scoff at being so heartless as to completely cut someone out so quickly and completely, citing someone's other good qualities, bad run in life, personality, familial ties or personal difficulties excusing them for their jerk behavior that ultimately takes value from your life. Use advantages to the most. If you find a flaw in a system, find a way to exploit it. Quitting is way underrated. In fact, it's pretty dang awesome sometimes. Someone described it to me thusly. Life is a crap sandwich and money is the bread. The more money, the less crap in every bite. When driving, assume that everyone else on the road is a complete idiot. Can you change it? If not, then you shouldn't give a frick. If you can change things, go freaking change them. 
fake it until you make it. You might not be the most successful, the coolest, the most put together, etc. It doesn't matter. If people think that you are, they will gravitate towards you naturally. True unless you're designing a bridge. When you're ill, ring into work, and try and act ill. It's unacceptable because of how ridiculous and unnecessary it is. You don't have to act if you lie on your back on your bed with your head hanging upside down off the side when you make the call. Try it. You instantly sound sick as a dog. Don't break the law while you're already breaking the law. Example. Speeding while driving away from a homicide you committed. You don't have to survive being alone forever. You just need to survive being alone tonight. Yeah, bit depressing. Most people are idiots. Think of how stupid the average person is, and realize half of them are stupider than that. George Carlin. My anthro professor said frick at least five different people from different cultures. You learn a lot about lovemaking. You should lose some weight. Bulking season bruh. Relationships are transactional. Build up goodwill with many small things so people will help you when it comes to the big things. Beautiful people are more loved. Work on being attractive because it makes life easier. You may not be wrong, but there's no reward for being dead and right. Learn to defend yourself and not look like a target. Also, if someone fits a criminal stereotype, it pays to avoid them. Those stereotypes exist for a reason. The only person whose happiness is important is your own. Living for others validation is unfulfilling. So put yourself first. Quickest way to become rich is to act poor. Quickest way to become poor is to act rich. Put yourself first. Most people you go out of your way for won't do the same for you. Yep, read up on the Benjamin Franklin effect. If you reverse it and ask someone to do a favor for you, they'll like you better. You've been spotted by the study dog. Gain smartness and wisdom if you like this video in the next 8 seconds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.